In 2014, the annual Catch the Fire conference took place called Expect Miracles. And here's the special guest speaker, Benny Hinn. Fire on your life! Oh, oh, yeah, God. Who is this guy here? Pick him up, quick, somebody, come on, go. I do believe he has a healing gift. <clears throat> Get him up here. Got to switch gears quick, in of Jesus. You know, I just got to switch gears quick. I want you all to stand real quickly, real quickly. Oh, well, sorry about the brain tumor. Hope that works out for you, but Benny's got some other ideas right now. Have a nice life. Glory to the land for your glory. Ah! <sighs> Thank you for the anointing that's going to rest on them. So about a year ago, Remnant Radio did an interview with Sam Storms where they talked about Mike Bickle and the relationship between Benny Hinn and the International House of Prayer. And I started making a video in response to that. And I did a ton of research and went down a lot of bunny trails. And I will be releasing some new videos as soon as possible. And I will be addressing some of the things that were said on that show. Things like this. Benny, and even though theologically and in, in, in terms of practice, there'd be certainly things we disagree with, but uh, he does have a healing gift. I mean, he does. I yes, Benny Hinn is a born-again man of God. Does he have a faulty theology and um, sometimes a manipulative minister style? Yes. Wait, what did you just say? Does he have a faulty theology and um, sometimes a manipulative minister style? Yes. But the man loves Jesus. I'm convinced of that. Attention, Benny Hinn, you are cleared for takeoff. You're free to scam people and take as much money from little old ladies as you want. As long as you love Jesus, you're good to go. In this video, I'm going to be referring to just the two times that Benny Hinn spoke at that conference in the year 2014, and I'm just going to have fun with it because it is ridiculous. And then later, I'll be coming out with more serious videos that show that anybody that doesn't see how Benny Hinn is a con man... <laughs> are either naive or worse. I'm looking forward to coming for Catch the Fire. It's going to be a magnificent time. I'm telling you, I feel it in my heart, in the Holy Ghost, it's in the Bible. I'm believing for notable signs and wonders to take place in those meetings. And let's believe for a tremendous, mighty, heavy anointing to hit all of us that we won't even be able to walk out of the building, all right? So the video clips that I'll be using here and have been using are all from the end of both of the times when he was there conducting a service. And the videos are very, very long. One is over three hours and one is actually a little over five hours. And it's only at the very end where he walks around in the crowd and does the uh, supposed supernatural stuff where people will get knocked over and all of that. Yes, Lord, I give you praise. If the Lord is healing you quickly, 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 come out of your seat and line up to the left over here, quickly. So as you can see, this is three hours and nine minutes into the service. He had plenty of time to tell stories, to tell jokes, to make people laugh, to go on and on and on and on about how important it was for people to sow seeds so that they could have all of their debt removed. And now, when he's asking people to come up on the stage who have been healed, it's quickly, 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 quickly. This is what he probably learned from Catherine Kuhlman, I'm guessing, because she did the same thing. When people feel the pressure of not having enough time, they will do things they otherwise wouldn't do. They'll agree with the leader, they'll go along with whatever he says, and that's exactly what happens here. You want the anointing now? Touch! Also, to give you some perspective, this is a three hour and 39 minute video. He starts asking people to come forward for the miraculous part of the service at 3.09 and he leaves the stage at 3.30. So the main reason anybody goes to see Benny Hinn is for him to do all the so-called miraculous stuff, you know, where people get knocked over and all of that. Well, he only spends about 20 minutes doing that. And in that 20 minutes, there are no legitimate healings whatsoever. It's a show, it's a production. Over here, quickly. Those that know the Lord has healed you. You may not make up the platform. It doesn't matter. You may not make it up on the platform where I'll talk and pray with you. That doesn't matter. Let God see you in that line. Let the Lord see you in that line. If, if God has healed you, your body, 
If you know you've been healed this morning, then get out of your seat, come line up to the left over here, and the rest of you lift your hands and pray because God is still healing His people. God is still healing His precious people. Remember what we saw at the very beginning of this video, the very beginning of the service when they were just about to start singing? Do you remember how there was a lady in a wheelchair and now she's gone? You're supposed to forget about her and you probably did because that's what a Benny Hinn meeting is. It's a smoke and mirror production. If the Lord has healed you, come out of your seat. Don't sit down yet, please. Don't sit down yet. Come out of your seat and line up here. Don't stay in your seat. Otherwise, you could lose your healing. And this is how Benny Hinn gets the maximum number of people to convince themselves that they've been healed so that he can get them to go up on stage and claim their healing. Because they're being told that if they don't do that, they're going to lose the healing that they probably aren't even sure they got to begin with. Like people, when they're saved, they have to go and testify. They have to go and make a public confession. Same thing when people are healed. They have to go and say, yes, Lord, I am, I, I've received it. I thank you. And by standing, in, by standing in that line, you confirm that you've been healed. Heaven affirms your miracle when you stand in that line. Begin to bring the people quickly, one by one. Begin to bring them. Come on, quickly, one by one. Just bring them. Bring that lady in the yellow. Remain standing, if you don't mind, for just a moment. If the Lord has healed you, just get up here. Notice how leisurely he was in the beginning compared to now. I'm going to tell you one little story before I start. Maybe I'll show you the picture. I don't know. John and I went to Disney World once together. We got a picture with, uh, what's that big dog called again? No, not, 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 Goofy, 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 whatever. No, not his dog. If the Lord is healing you, quickly, 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 come out of your seat and line up to the left over here. Quickly, heaven affirms your miracle when you stand in that line. Begin to bring the people quickly, one by one. Begin to bring them, come on, quickly, one by one. Just bring them, bring that lady in the yellow. Marie, get her up here. If, if God has healed her, let me know what happened to her, okay? Oh, that's marvelous, 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 marvelous. What happened to the lady in the yellow? Pardon, em eczema. Emphysema. Huh? The emphysema, we rebuke it in the name of the Lord Jesus, every bit of it goes. And what, what happened to this girl here? Arthritis, where, darling? Come here, sweetie. My knees and my... Uh, Come up here, darling. Come here. Uh, how bad was the arthritis? I feel good. No, how bad was it? Oh, it was always, always hurting me when I walk and always... Like and I you felt that warmth? Yeah, Come on. Yeah. In my back and my knees. Oh dear, that's marvelous, marvelous. You, you can go down and thank God for your healing. Well, this isn't so marvelous. She doesn't know what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to fall over and the guy's supposed to catch her. Awkward. Next. You can go down and thank God for your healing. What, what happened to you, dear? When, when I said fibromyalgia. Dear Jesus, I thank you. Here goes your hand, darling. Can, can someone pick those people up and take them down, please, so we can have space? Can I have another man to come up here and help us? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Help him down, guys. Thank you. No more pain. Thank you. Thank kidneys, God, right? Johnny. What was wrong with you? I had constant pain in my kidney. Right kidney. Uh, and it's gone. Dear Lord, dear Lord, that's a part of it. What happened to the... Help him up, guys. Take him down that way, please. Take him down the other way so we don't have a traffic jam here. What happened to the girl, Johnny? What happened to you, dear? Um, my fallopian tube is, uh, the right side is blocked. Gone. It is gone. In. Jesus, your presence makes me whole. That's right, folks. She's all better now. Just look at her. Her lower back was in well, a lot of pain, and when you mentioned it, it left. Thanks. What, what happened to her, Johnny? Thanks. What, what happened to her, Johnny? Knees, ankles, hips, and arthritis. Lord, I give you the <laughs> praise. Glory to the Lamb, for your glory. Help her down, guys. There's a knee problem that she was scheduled for surgery. Good. Thank you so much. 
pain in my knee and now it's no pain at all. Are you supposed to go for surgery? Yes. No more, darling. Thank you. Go, go. My dear, if you touch me, we may both go down together. I don't want to go down right now. For you are glorious. Yeah, help her this way, guys. Pain in lower back and it all went away. Pain in the lower back. Yeah, and it all went away. It's gone, brother. Yeah, I've been over and I tell you, it was gone. I think that's marvelous. I think Pain that's marvelous. in the left knee, Benny, it's gone. Lord Jesus. Whoa. I'll come down then. For you are glorious and worthy. Another one with, with her knee. She just felt fire go into her knee. Just like this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Wait a minute. What's happening? You, you? you get itching in the skin sometimes. Itching? Uh, sure, yeah, I guess. It won't come back, darling. Okay, I can pretend. There we go. Help her down, guys. What happened to you? Psoriasis, dear? she had. When, when I said psoriasis, it just left you. For in thy presence there's healing in This man has a, had a brain tumor. Notice how John catches himself saying the wrong thing. He actually said that he has a brain tumor, but in word of faith teaching, you can never say something like that because your words give power to reality or they actually cause things to happen. And he's had prayer, but he feels like the headache has lifted and something is going on. Every bit of it in the name of Jesus. You know, I just got to switch gears quick in the name of Jesus. You know, I just got to switch gears quick. I want you all to stand real quickly, real quickly. Oh, well, sorry about the brain tumor. Hope that works out for you, but Benny's got some other ideas right now. Have a nice life. Sorry about that. There's a lot of people in that healing line, but I don't think I'm gonna have the chance because I gotta go. But I don't think I'm gonna have the chance because I gotta go. This is how it works with Benny Hinn. He's famous, he's a celebrity. He gets to do whatever he wants and he's so busy and important. You're just lucky to even be in the same room with him. How dare you complain about the fact that he didn't actually heal anybody. Because I gotta go. But before I do, uh, pastors only, pastors only, and full-time ministers only, please come forward. So Benny knows that he will get the best results, he'll get the best audience participation when he calls up people who are pastors, people who are staff at the church. This will also help to reinforce the idea that regular people are just, well, regular people, and the special people are the ministers who Benny is going to call up to the front now. They're closer to Benny, they're closer to God. And the rest can go down, except that lady. What, what, what happened to you? She had a car accident that really uh, paralyzed almost her one left side, and she's been going to the chiropractor three times a week. The pain will just... Notice how Benny is waving off the other people on stage. Nope, no healing for you. Left side, and she's been going to the chiropractor three times a week. The pain all just left. Every bit of it, Lord. I'm going to ask the Lord, is there any way this puppet can move back, or is it, no, don't do it, lady. No, not you, dear. Let these guys do it. Watch the wild, guys. Watch that wild. Watch, just lift it up a little bit so the wild doesn't get... There you go. You did it. God bless you. Just leave it right there. Okay. Come closer, please. All of you, John Hands, really fast. Just join hands, please. Shh. No children, please. Uh-uh. The children must be on the side. No, no. Take your children with you. Put them on the side. Yeah, when the power of God hits, those, those, those children can be hurt physically. We don't want that. If it wasn't for Benny warning people, the power of God would be rampaging through the room, doing physical harm to children. Wow. Good thing Benny's there. Stay on the side, please, with your children. Thank you. Come closer, just a little touch, a little step. That's it, no more, thank you. Are you ready for the anointing? Shh, shh. Dear Jesus, anoint them for your sake and glory. Amen. Look at me for a second. Open your eyes. 
you just wave my hand like this and ask God to anoint you for a, a, a fresh day of ministry in your life. You're ready for it, right? Lift your hands and receive from the Lord, all of you. Show hands right there, quickly in front of me. Quick, come on. You want it? Not in the aisles. Ah, uh -uh. don't don't join hands in the aisles, lady. No aisles. Thou shall not hold hands unto thy aisles, for thy anointing requires separation amongst hand holders. You want the anointing now? Touch. Out of God, here, people. Over here, you want it? Join hands, quick, come on. That's strong now. You ready? Touch in Jesus by the name. You people better lift your hands and receive everything God has for you right now. On that side, you want it? Join hands, quick, fast, come on. Watch the babies though. Nobody moving, please. Nobody moving, brother. You ready for it now? In Jesus' mighty and glorious name. Now all of you begin to pray loud, and I mean loud in the spirit. Come on. Bring that couple here. I have a word for them. Come here, guys. Both of you. In front of me. Here. It's all over me, Carol. Take it in the name of the Lord, my God and my King. Well, that's what she asked for. You better pick her up again. You better pick her up again. Pick up the key. Pick it up, guys. They are God. They are God. They are God. I wish you hadn't told me who he was, but it's okay now that you did. A heavenly doctor. I see you placing ointment on people's arms and bodies. Take a look at Coat Boy's domination over Security Boy. Yeah, there's no question who's in charge here. In fact, I see you placing ointment. Come on, Coat Boy, keep it together. We need you. Ointment and wraps around people's heads. <gasps> I thank you for the anointing that's going to rest on them. Mightily, greatly. In Jesus' name. Now all of you pray again out loud. Pick up the pastor. one incredibly well executed pickup by Coat Boy. That's right, Bob. Coat Boy has been training all year for this moment, and that training has clearly paid off. That's what the Lord told me to do. When God speaks to me, I do it, that's all. <laughs> Come on, people, pray in the Holy Ghost out loud here. Pick up the key!
Hey Bruno, come here, brother. Bruno, come here. The Lord's gonna use him. You better pray, real good people. Oh, oh, yeah, cut. Pick up the key. One more time. Keep praying, people. Pick up the key again, Gregory. Holy. Ah. Pick up her husband and her. Don't touch my coat. Don't touch my coat. People just lift their hands and receive. I'm telling you. Now just lift your hands and drink it in, all of you. Drink that anointing. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, quickly, all of you. Out loud. You're Jesus. There's been miracles happening while I've been ministering to these people. your life who is this guy here pick him up quick somebody come on go get him up here oh the glory of your presence we your temple I want that four couple on the platform. Quickly, come on. To your rest and be blessed by our praise. Quickly, come on. Qu quickly, bring them up here. your hands and receive that blessed anointing here. Quickly. Lift your hands and receive it.
this is why Coat Boy is in a league of his own. That's right, Bob. Coat Boy comes out of nowhere. He's not even in the picture. This girl's about to hit the ground and boom, there he is. I've got a VHS tape copy of this and I watch it over and over again. I do believe he has a healing gift. Receive it! You know, there's a lot of things happening now, a lot of healings, but this is not God's plan here. A lot of miracles already, but, but that's not God's plan here. You want it? Okay. Shh. Watch. Touch. 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 Now lift your hands and drink it in. Let's drink it in. A lot of you have been healed here tonight. But that's not God's plan tonight for the healing service. Even though I planned on it, but that was not God's plan. Oh, that's marvelous. It's 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 marvelous. Marvelous. Feel that just lifting. It's lifting. <laughs>